hey guys so i have a new video today i'm gonna be doing these gummy bear nails and right here i am gonna be doing it on my silicone like mannequin hand but i already have the nail tips glued on and already prepped and shaped and everything but i wanted to show you guys which um gummy bears i'm going to be using for this video i am going to put where i got them from down below in the description but i'm just going to go ahead and go in with this clear just regular clear acrylic and i'm going to be going in and um applying this to all the nails it's just going to be a regular clear base acrylic because we're going to be putting gel um colors on these nails today Also, for all of the products that I use, I will list them all down in the description. So, all of the gel polishes, um, acrylics, every like literally everything will be in the description. Uh, I I, it, I will try to um, also put the links to some of the stuff that I um, have in this video, but pretty much everything will be in this in the description box. So I forgot to mention that before you even do the um, acrylic application, please make sure to dehydrate the nail and then prime it. Obviously, I didn't do that because this is a mannequin hand, but you would do this on your client. So after you file and shape your client's nails into the shape that you would like, please make sure to dehydrate and prime it. I will put the dehydrator and primer that I use in the description as well with the links. I use the Mia Secret Primer and Dehydrator and it works really, really good. I like to go in and put two applications, do two applications on each hand of the um, dehydrator and then two applications of the primer just so that I feel like it's more, you know, secure.
So now I am going to go in with my drill bed and I like to go around the edges like where the cuticle is just to uh, make sure it's all smooth. Please be careful when doing this because if you're not too careful you can cut your client's cuticles and stuff and nobody wants that to happen. So just be careful with that but I'm going to go ahead and just file it down and smooth it out. Then I'm going to be switching drill beds and I'm going to be taking a soft grid um, drill bed and I'm going to be even, even like smoothing it out even further just to make sure everything is smooth no bumps in the nails anything like that so that's what I'm going to do So here, like I said, I'm going to be going in with my soft grid bed and I'm going in and smoothing out the nails even further. Um, after this process, I don't believe I show it, but I do take a buffer and I go in and buff out the nails just to make sure it's really smooth because once I put that jelly uh, gel polish on there, it will definitely show if you have any bumps or anything in the nails. So now I'm just taking my uh, file and I believe this is a 150 or 180 file but I'm going in and filing the nails back into shape and I like to turn my um, clients like when I'm doing my clients I could like kind of turn their hand backwards to where their nails are facing up to file the tips of their nails just because when you do hold their hand that way it allows you to see you know from their point of view how straight the um, the nails are and how how flat across their tips are just so that it looks more clean looks real nice and I just like that I prefer that um, way of shaping it I just feel like it comes out way better but yeah I'm just gonna go in and file all the nails into place I also like to smooth out the bottoms of the nails like you see me doing here just to make sure everything is smooth no sharp edges and everything is just real nice clean and perfect. Alright you guys, so these are the gel polishes I'm going to be using. I believe the name is called Macarit of the brand and I just got these off of Amazon but this is what they look like. So I was trying to figure out which like way I wanted to lay these gel polishes but I figured it out because I wanted to do kind of like an ombre-ish type look to go with the um, the gummy bears they're kind of like ombre some of them so I just started laying them however I felt like they would look good like color scheme wise I just laid colors that I thought would go together and I'm not gonna lie, I never really ombre with gel polishes before. I've ombre with acrylics, but never gel polishes. So basically what I did was I just kind of laid the colors 
like halfway on the nail so I took the pink halfway and I brought the orange halfway in so when it met in the middle I just used a dotting tool to um, kind of mix the colors together so I'm gonna continue doing that with the other colors and show y'all what it looks like also I um, cured them each nail after I did it just so that it wouldn't move around so I did a nail cured it and then went ahead and moved on to the next nail With the purple, it was kind of um, see-through, not see-through, but it wasn't as pigmented as the rest of them. So I went ahead and I um, kind of tried to make sure I packed it on. And also, um, I don't know if you saw that I kind of got some on the cuticles and I went ahead and brushed it off. I just went ahead and went in with a little bit of acetone and wiped it right off the, um, the cuticle area. But yeah, I'm just packing this color on because it was like really... Um, I kind of translucent into So I just went ahead and applied the gel polish to all the fingers. Now I'm going in and I'm going to be taking just my IBD um, gel top coat and to um, you know lay these down just because again this is just a practice hand. Normally I like to use the IBD hard gel. Um, that's what I use to lay any of my crystals or 3D arts. And that stuff you guys is so good. Like I never have any rhinestones fall off. But I am going to be using that to lay them now. But here I'm just trying to figure out what I want to, like where I want to lay the the gummy bears at if I want to, I don't know. But I'm figuring it out and I just decided I'm going to try to do like mix and match. I was going to match the color schemes up to each other, but I feel like it will be really different to just have different colors going. Also, when I find the spot that I want the gummy bear to lay at, I do a flash cure, only a couple seconds. Uh, but I just flash cure it just so that it can stay in place. Y'all, I know it was so hard for me to pick up the gummy bears with these tweezers like I could not find my tweezers and it was so hard to pick them up like they kept dropping So now I laid all the gummy bears down and I'm just going around with my IBD top coat gel and I'm going to be top coating the rest of the nails and I'm just going to go around the gummy bears and make sure that everything is nice and neat and coated.
this is the final result i freaking love it like it's so colorful and pretty and the gummy bears i feel like it just pops and really stands out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe check out my instagram tiktok and check out my other videos